So this video is about how to use a rewilding stick. So we're going to be looking at three techniques. One is the turn technique, another one is the drop technique, and the last one we'll look at is this foot tap technique. For this demonstration I'm using some beech tree seeds which I've covered in flour <laughs> to make it more obvious otherwise it would be brown seeds going into brown ground and you wouldn't probably see them very well. So I've, as I say, I've coated them in flour and then you can more clearly see what's going on. In fact that might be a tip to use for, for your initial stages of planting while you're still practicing and getting used to it. It can be handy to put a bit of flour in amongst the seeds so you can make it more easily to see what's happening with them as you're learning how to plant. I'm going to show you the technique on plain soil but usually usually we're planting directly into rough ground that might be covered in, in heather or some other small shrub or we could be planting the moss or leaves or what have you. Um, but in order to make it really clear what's happening I'm going to show you in clear ground. The first technique we're going to look at is the, the turn technique. So all you're doing is putting the stick into the ground with the handle away from you, turning it 380 degrees and as you get to about a 90 degree point you put the seed in and it should land, the seed should land in the ground just about the time you finish your half turn. And then you step forward with your foot, flatten down the divot and you can even scrape a little bit of the soil over the, over the, where the seed landed if you prefer and just keep on walking on so you just get yourself a walking rhythm where you can do that so every second step you're putting a seed in the ground. The turn technique works very well in a lot of situations but it doesn't tend to work so well if the soil is very loose or if it's muddy or if there's a deep layer of leaves or something like that you're trying to get under. So there's two other techniques that you can use and, and it's a matter of experimenting to see what works, works best. And one of those is the drop technique. You simply lift the stick up and drop it down and then as it drops you put the seed into the stick and pause while it, the seed lands and then again step forward, use your foot to flatten down the divot Again, you're looking to get a rhythm going where you can plant a seed every second step. And the third technique I'd like to share with you is the foot tap technique. This is another very simple but effective technique and it can be very handy for things like where you've got quite a thick layer of leaves or other types of debris on the, on the ground and you're trying to get deep enough to get under it and actually get to the soil underneath. With a stick in your left hand, the handle would be pointing towards your left. So the blade of the stick would be pointed towards the right and you place it in the ground and give it a slight tap with your right foot. It makes a little bit of a groove or an indentation in the soil. And then you drop the seed in and just pause slightly to get the seed the time to land. You can either step on the divot with your foot or cover it up and then take the next step. And again you're looking to develop a technique whereby you can put a seed in the ground every second step. And as I say this is a good one for, for deep leaves or detritus of various kinds that are on the ground. So those are the three main techniques that you, I think you'll find useful and you may find yourself developing your own based on these or something completely different. These methods are not difficult to learn, they just take a little bit of practice and then but you soon find yourself being able to switch comfortably between them without even thinking about it and then you can make up your own. And so I often use the turn technique when planting into small shrubs but in that case I maybe actually wiggle the stick a bit to help it get past any small branches of the shrub so I don't do it unnecessary damage until I can get to the soil and then do the turn technique and put the, the seed in place. And then sometimes you need to shorten the turn and you need to vary it to suit the situation. So just learn to adapt your, your method to the type of soil and the type of seed. And you're just watching what's going on. Is the seed getting into the ground okay or is it not? And then you just take it from there. 